Alright, what's going on guys? Thanks for tuning in to another video. Um, today I got the iPad Mini 4 um, and I just wanted to do a quick review of uh, my personal preference of this guy. Um, this is going to be kind of a, a real world review. Um, it's not going to be a big spec type of review. Um, I think you can get those anywhere and everywhere on YouTube, but I just want to kind of show you what I like, what I don't like, um, and who I'd recommend this to. Um, so let's jump into it real quick. So first, taking a look at the hardware. Um, I mean, this thing is impossibly thin and lightweight. You're going to forget you're holding it sometimes. It's that thin and lightweight. I think we're looking at about a quarter of an inch thick here. Um, maybe 10 ounces, I think, is the weight it's at. That's what without the smart cover, but you can see, I mean, this guy is just so nice to hold. Uh, the metal is nice to hold. It feels more premium. Um, and if you look down here, guys, look at this. That's a headphone jack. For some of you, you might be wondering what that is. That You actually plug headphones into that. Pretty crazy. Um, then if we go to the other side here, we got uh, speaker grills, which are, you know, speakers are pretty good. I mean, they're not the greatest, but they'll, you know, you can hear them in almost any setting. And you got your uh, lightning uh, input there for charging. You can either get some uh, adapt adapters for that as well. So, um, so yeah, that's kind of the hardware. It's very nice, very, like I said, very easy to hold, very premium feeling. All right, so jumping into the display here. Um, the display is very, very nice. It's very pleasing to watch, you know, shows on, do gaming or anything like that. It's 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 a very bright, very vibrant. My camera won't do it justice here, so just so you know that. I mean, it's, it's very nice. Um, I want the space gray because the, I love the black borders. I'm not a huge fan of the uh, white borders on the other ones, um, especially when it's off. I love the all black look to it, but that's the reason why I went with the space gray. Um, and I mean, this thing just flies around it. I've had the iPad pro, um, while this doesn't have the pro motion, I don't really see a huge difference between this and the iPad pro. Um, I don't see huge stutters when I'm zipping around and going to different apps. Um, you know, in terms of speed, this thing loads, uh, things very quickly, just like the iPad pro. Um, and honestly, I can't tell a difference between the two um, in terms of speed. Display a little bit. The iPad Pro also has um, True Tone, um, which makes the colors pop a little bit more than this. But this display is great, just so you know. Um, I mean, the it's very fast. It, I mean, some people might be worried about the two-year-old technology. Is it going to keep up? Is the A8 chip in there? gonna you know um, slow down under workload I haven't experienced that at all it's just so you know so it's, I don't think it's something you have to worry about so one of the main things I want to show you here and why I kind of base my recommendation off of this is that I have an iPhone 10 so I just want to show you this comparison real quick and since picking up the iPhone 10 I have been using the iPhone 10 to watch media a lot more than my iPad mini and I've been using the iPad mini a lot less since picking this up basically because it's a lot easier for me to take this out of my pocket and watch a show or a YouTube video or something like that than it is for me to go try to find my iPad mini and watch that and honestly I don't see a huge huge difference between watching media on this and watching media on the iPad mini. So I've definitely been using it a lot less since picking this up. And that's something to definitely consider if you have a larger phone with a larger display. If you have this phone or the iPad, or I'm sorry, the iPhone 8 plus or 7 plus or 6s plus, um, you know, you might not need or have the need to have this guy um, to watch the you know your shows and media on, and that's primarily what this is for. Um, now I will say, if you get the smart cover with this guy, like I did, um, you can use this to prop up the iPad Mini and watch hands-free, which is 
a huge convenience um, over any sort of uh, phone that really no phones offer that uh, type of cover or, or a kickstand or something like that, unless you buy a, a bulky case on top of it. So I will say to, to bring this with when you're traveling, set it up on like a airplane tray or a bed uh, or, you know, a table just to watch shows on. That's where this really shines. Um, and honestly, I know that uh, many people don't like the smart covers as they're overpriced. And I know that. But I wanted something lightweight to go with my iPad um, that will protect the front and prop it up as a stand. And that fills that need. Um, so uh, I'm willing to spend a few extra bucks to do that and not have a huge bulky case uh, on top of this very premium lightweight uh, tablet. So that's just something to consider. All right. So would I recommend this and who do I recommend it to? I would, I would definitely recommend it. I mean, if you're, if you're looking to get an iPad, I think this is one of the best ones. If you're looking for just, uh, you know, something that's not a huge productivity machine, but something that's going to be, uh, easy to watch shows on, um, easy to, you know, pop open emails or social media or, you know, something along that lines or, or do like gaming and such stuff like that. I think this is a great tablet tablet, if that makes sense. Um, so I think, I would definitely recommend it. It's 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 very nice. Still still in 2018, it's fast as um, any iPad that I've used. Um, to who I'd recommend it to, I would say people that have either a smaller phone that are looking for a bigger display um, to watch shows on. Um, people that travel, um, this is so easy to just pop into a, a carry on or a backpack or stuff like that. And, um, you know, you're not going to feel it hardly at all. Like I said, I think it's about 10 ounces. Um, and you know, you can bring it with you, um, while you're traveling and watch shows and stuff on it. So I think that's perfect for those people. Um, you know, if you have a larger phone and you use that a lot to consume media, I don't see a huge need for this, especially at, I think it's retailing at $399 right now. You tack on a smart cover like that and you're looking at, you know, plus tax, you're almost $500. That's a lot of money for something that you're just going to watch a little bit of media on. So, you know, that's something just to consider. Um, I think it's a great device. It's, um, you know, very pricey. If you can find it on sale, I'd say go for it. If you have some sort of gift card or reward zone points, um, it might take away from some of that steep cost. But if you're looking at, you know, spending a, a five, close to $500 on something like this, you might want to even, you know, consider the iPad Pro because you're kind of getting close to that range of, uh, you know, price. Um, and then iPad Pro, you have, you know, bigger display, a few more feature like ProMotion and True Tone. Um, you know, things to consider. So, you know, and some people might like this, uh, smaller form factor. That's, uh, you know, the, this is, this is still great for, for what it okay. is. So just to wrap up this video, um, I hope this quick review helps you make a buying decision. That's kind of the whole goal of this video is just to show you some real world usage, real world comparisons. Um, my personal take on it. Um, and you know, hopefully it helps you, uh, decide whether this is uh, a product that's for you or not. Um, cause I, you know, in the end, that's all we're trying to figure out is, is the juice worth the squeeze? You know, is the, the high price tag for this small item worth it, um, for what you're going to get? And I think for some people, it definitely is. Um, it'll, you know, it's a huge convenience to have a, a bigger display on the go with you at all times to watch, you know, movies, shows, do email, game, and that sort of thing. For those people, it'll definitely be worth it. For people that already have a device that is large and easy to consume media on, you know, you might not use this all that much, which, you know, would be tough to recommend at the current price tag. So um, I hope this helps. You know, I hope uh, you guys enjoyed the video. Um, if you liked it, please uh, feel free to subscribe. I'm going to try to come up with more videos on just real-world usage. Um, 
of products that I have in my, in my life. Um, and again, I thank you for watching. Um, and if you have any comments or questions, just leave them uh, below in the comment box. And uh, we'll catch you on the next video.